Well, we seem to have found a temporary solution for the um, shakes. Hopefully it will be a long temporary solution. Um, but it, my shakes may come back, but now I know what to expect. It's not quite so scary. And in the meantime, I can do art. So here's what happened. We went to see my son and he saw my shakes and said to me, Mum, try this. And he placed a drop under my tongue. One drop of oil. That's all it was. And within 20 minutes, I had stopped shaking completely. It was medical marijuana. And it is incredible. It is a lifesaver. Um, I've watched lots of videos of people with Parkinson's or essential tremor. And they take a drop. And just like me, they stop shaking. So I came home and I went to my doctor and I said, can I get a script? And he said, well, no, because I don't do that. And I looked at him and he said, let me look it up. And he would have to go through special training to do this. And he was unwilling to, to do the extra training, which I fully understand if he doesn't get asked for it a lot. Um, so I came home and my son had told me that it was now legal to buy it over the counter. So I started ringing around chemists. And I was surprised at some of the responses because some of the responses were, oh my God, no. Okay. They didn't say that, but it was like that. It was, oh, marijuana. We would never touch marijuana. That's terrible. And this is not the marijuana that you smoke. This is has none of the drug effects in it. Um, what I take is CBD oil. It has none of the THL. I hope I'm getting those initials right. The THL is what makes mar what makes you high when you take marijuana. And in the CBD oil, there's none of that. And even if there is in a uh, stronger oil, they, they do use t the THL as well. I believe it has to be heated for it to have that effect but nevertheless at the moment I'm just on pure um, CBD there's no um, getting high there's no feeling at all with this I just stop shaking um, so anyway back to the story I rang around all the chemists I got different responses but it was all no some of them had no idea what I was talking about um, so I looked more into the legislation and, and what's going on and found out that, yes, it's been passed to law. It can be sold in chemists over the counter without a script in Australia. However, it's going to take another 18 months to get to the point where there's actually a product to sell. So although it's law, they don't have it to sell. Okay. Okay. So this leads me to look for other doctors that might be able to prescribe it. Not an awful lot of success in the area that I live. So once again, back to my son. And he said, go to can I help? C-A-N-N-I help dot com dot A-U. And I'll leave that link. I'll drop it down the bottom. And... If you're an Australian and you're having trouble getting it, um, can I help? Will help. They are online doctors. They're not cheap. They're not Medicare. Obviously, doesn't cover this. I'm on a pension, and it's sort of a little bit expensive. Uh, the doctors 
I won't give prices because the prices might change. But um, it's not cheap. But I had to talk to a nurse first. That was free. And we made an appointment to see, when I say see, I mean talk to over the telephone, a doctor. And um, because Easter was coming up and they were fully booked, there was a bit of wait. So we waited and spoke to the doctor and he was more than happy to prescribe it to me when I told him what my um, symptoms were. And I spoke to him about other things too. Like, I don't know if you know, but I'm agoraphobic. I don't leave the house without my sister driving me. Um, she's what's called a phobic companion. I can't go out, but I can go out without with Zoe. And he said that it might help with that. However, I've been agoraphobic since I was 14. I'm now 60. So there's a lot of learnt behaviour there as well. Um, it might help with the anxiety, but it probably won't. So um, might help a little, we'll see. Um, the other thing was the tablets that I'm on for my anxiety. He said that it is once again possible that the medical cannabis could take the place of those. And because of side effects, I've been wanting to get off those for a long time. But uh, once again, I've been on them for 20 years. So that's not going to be a fast process either. But the main thing we wanted was it for, for it to stop the shaking. And it's done that. And I can paint again. So they did say that the initial dose, which is one tiny, tiny drop, the smallest amount on in a syringe, um, it's it's so small you can hardly feel it on, under your tongue. But that might have to increase as my tremor gets worse. I still haven't seen the specialist. They said a 90-day wait. Yeah, that 90-day can certainly stretch. But um, I don't think it's Parkinson's because I don't shake when I'm asleep and apparently Parkinson's patients do. So I only shake when I'm awake. But it will stop that. I might have to increase the dose. I might even have to go on to the one that has the THL in it. And once again, I apologise if I'm getting these initials wrong. But um, at the moment, that's nothing to worry about. I'll worry about that when it happens. I can paint. I've been painting. And it's just so incredible. The results are so amazing. From shaking so badly I can't get a drink to my mouth or a forkful of food to being able to paint again, being able to carry a glass of water um, from one room to another, being able to, to eat and drink without having to hold my spoon or fork with both hands. It It's a miracle and I don't know why it has taken so long to get this substance um, onto the market as a medical aid. Uh, a friend of mine was a doctor. He was an old doctor. And he was around the time when they gave people opium for pain. And he said that the saddest day was when he had terminal patients and he was no longer allowed to give them opium because with very few side effects, it would just take away their pain. But no, opium's a drug, so we're not allowed to use it. And he was, he until the end of his life, he would say that was his saddest day as a doctor. I think that there's a lot of closed-mindedness around these things. Another thing that I've heard of that stops shaking is mushrooms. Once again, there's research on this, but at this time there's no medical anything. You can't buy that, but you can get CBD oil. So if you shake, get CBD oil. If you have pain, get CBD oil. 
my sister has an absolutely terrible spine. Um, so bad that at the moment they won't operate because they said the operation might just make it worse. She took a drop of mine and she stood up and she walked across the room and she turned around really quickly and she looked at me and there were tears in her eyes and she said, I just got up and walked across the room without even thinking about it. I'm, I'm not in pain. So, it's not on Medicare in Australia yet. It is expensive, but it's not sell your house expensive. Well, this is Australia, not America. And it's just a miracle drug. So, I can paint again now. I'm taking commissions for pet portraits. Um, I'm really loving the gouache. I'm painting every day. I'm painting as much as I can. I can't believe this. I was so lost when I couldn't paint and now I'm found and it's all helped to a drug which when I was a teenager were, was looked down upon. We, we would say, oh no, we, we don't smoke um, and possibly correctly but it's not as bad as alcohol, even even smoking it. It's not as bad as alcohol. And it has this wonderful medical effect. And if I encourage you, if you shake, try it. Um, it's legal. I don't know if it's legal in all the world, but it's certainly legal in Australia. And it, it works. And that's all I can say, really. I'm just... So, so happy that this has solved the problem. And although it might not have solved the problem for the rest of my life, um, I know now it won't be the great shock it was when I woke up that morning and I couldn't stop shaking. And I still have to see the specialist at the hospital when they get around to sending me an appointment. So in the meantime, watch me finish painting this Waimarana. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I think it was the first thing I painted after I tried the oil. Um, before I even got my own. When I took the drop from, from my son. And you'll notice the change of colour at the end. That's the difference between painting under a bright light and taking it out into the sunny shade. So the best place to take a photo to get the colours right is on a sunny day but in the shade. So we take them in the carport. Uh, you'll notice uh, the particularly in the background the change goes from blue to green and it's quite remarkable. Um, but not as remarkable as medical cannabis. Thank you. Thank you for medical cannabis. And thank you for watching. And listening to my story and please subscribe and like because unless you subscribe and like um, YouTube's algorithms will just hide these and people won't see them and as much as I want my art to be seen I want the word about medical cannabis to get out as well uh, I will probably be mentioning it a lot in future videos and I'll let you know how I'm traveling, how it's working, and what my art is doing. So please hit subscribe, hit like, and come back and see my future videos. And if you'd like a pet portrait, message me. Leave a, drop a comment. 
I think I have my email up somewhere. And we're almost finished. So thank you again. Thank you for putting up with my whining. And I'll see you next time.